So content only equals, um, well, true or false. First um, is set dollar underscore server. And then to access the request headers, it's HTTP underscore. And then the name of this header in all caps and replace all um, hyphens, dashes, whatever you call them, with underscores. So it'll be content only is set that and uh, that equals one. Then we'll have a content only page. If content only, then we're not going to serve this part of the web page. So, um, but, but of course, there still has to be a way to get the page title. So we'll set another header, um, but this time in the PHP, and that'll be page title, page title. Else, serve all of this. Come on, work. Like that. Okay. So now, refresh here. If I click this link, it's not serving the header. Um, oh, great. Oh, so we're getting this error here. Oh, fail to execute set press. Oh. Okay. So this line has to be after the open line. Okay. That's what was the problem. Okay, so I press on contact. No header shows up. Perfect. And we still have this duplicate footer. Duplicate footer. So we have to add this in the footer. A uh, similar thing to that we had in the header, if content only. So. If not content only. Then serve all of that. Okay, now if I contact, perfect, and the JavaScript is still working. Next, um, so I we're loading this page, yes, but then if I click on this link it doesn't have the click handler attached to it. So I click on this, it loads everything into here, but then these links don't have click handlers attached to them. So that works just like a normal link. So what we have to do is modify this attach click handlers function to uh, take a parent element. So parent. And then here we'll say attach click handlers to the document, but then here we'll have to say attach click handlers to the main element. Okay? So that way, if I uh, go to the main page, click on the about section, it loads via JavaScript. Click on the context section, contact section, and it still loads via JavaScript, even though this was loaded after the page, uh, the main, the whole page had loaded. All right, the next issue is that the back and forward buttons don't work properly. Um, and if I click on the contact link, this URL up here still is pointing at the main page, or if I um, open up the about page and then click on contact, it still says that we're on the about page. 
So we have to do some stuff in JavaScript to fix that. And that is whenever uh, we, so they click a link and this loads, then we have to update the URL using something called history.pushState. And that allows us to modify the URL inside of the address bar without causing the browser to load a page. Like, you know, we can't say location equals contact.php because, well, that would reload the page. So we have to use history.pushState to do that. So say history.pushState and this takes a couple arguments. The first one is state data. So I'm just going to say link.href and a title, which isn't really used by browsers as of yet. Um, but I'm just going to pass in the document title and then a URL to push to the address bar, which will be link.href again. Okay, so refresh the contact page. If I click on about, it loads about.php, click on contact, this updates to contact.php. If I press the back button, it stays on the contact page. The, this address updates, but the contact page doesn't. So now we have to watch for any or listen for an event called pop state, which occurs whenever the user presses the back or forward buttons. So window dot uh, add event listener pop state. Now I'm just going to um, log this so we can see what's going on. So contact.php uh, contact is our current location. We go to about page, press the back button, then here's our pop state event. And we press the back button to get to contact.php, or we expected to, but the contents of the page stays at at the about section. This pop state that fires has a state property with a value of the URL that they're now trying to access by pressing the back button. And this state um, property is this right here. Uh, we're pushing the state and then when the state is popped, um, we get this value stored in E dot e dot state okay so we're on contact.php we press about this is our pop state um state <laughs> so then we're going to want to load that location again and we're going to do it using very similar code to this right here so I'm going to cut and paste that into a new function called request page. And we'll take URL. And that will be URL. URL. Okay, and that will be URL as well. Now if we refresh, well actually, oops, can't refresh yet. Haven't um, done anything yet. So this is going to change to be request page at what URL link.href. Okay, and then on pop state, we'll say request page e.state. All right, so on contact.php, we press about, that works. Press back, and it loads contact page. Um, but now I should be able to press forward and get back to about, 
but that's not working because the state was popped and then we requested a page and then we pushed the state again. So we pressed the back button and then we pushed into the history the page that was requested by the back button again, which is not what we want. If if it was the pop state that um, fired this request page function, we don't want to push the state again. So we'll add an argument here and that and that will be push, and that'll be a boolean. And then we'll say, if push, then we'll push the state. Here, we're going to want to push the state. Here, we're not going to want to push the sit date. False. Now, we load again. We're on contact.php. We press about. We're on about.php. We press back. We're on contact.php, contact page. We press forward, we're on about page again. Okay, now I'm gonna copy this link address and just open it up here again because that'll kind of reset the pop state and all wacky browser history stuff. Now, if I say, okay, I wanna go to the about page and then press back, it says not found because Initially, there was no pop state state property for the initial load of the page, which is where this null comes from. So basically, what we need to do is when we load the page for the first time, we could say history.push state and push the current URL as the state. Or there's another, fun but I mean that would that would add another entry to the back button, which is not what we want. So we want to use history dot replace state and do something very similar to this right here, and this will just be yeah. This will just be location dot um, href document title and uh, location href again. Okay, so we're on the main page. We press about, go back, and it works. Of course, now I'm pressing about, and this still says main page here as the page title. And um, that's what we put this here for, this page title header, so that we can read the header um, when we load the page um, with the XHR and set that as a new document title. So document title equals XHR dot git response header page title. Oh my goodness. Title. Now we're on the about page. I press contact, it updates contact page there, contact page here, contact.php there. And everything looks like it's worth working perfectly until we say, all right, I have a really slow internet connection. That took a while. And for all we know, the user could be sitting here why is it not loading anything and then everything gets messed up because it's just loading and the, it gets very confused see it's still loading and they're like oh my goodness why what's going on here and they're so confused so what we should probably do is tell them that the page is loading and we're working on it somehow so what I'm gonna oh this is still running so um single throttling there we go all right um so this is where the styles are gonna come in and we're just gonna make a big fat overlay over the entire thing that says page loading so body loading before content loading. And um, 
position absolute top zero bottom zero left zero right zero background color uh, transparentish white um uh, so then um, in the JavaScript when we first send it we'll say document dot body class list add loading eh. and when we finally load the page uh, probably just after here um, document body class list remove loading okay so oh I didn't even like the style sheet how absent-minded am I and href style.css okay now we have a style sheet and um, now I have to turn on throttling again something really slow and it says loading dot 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 until the page loads loading dot 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 until the page loads alright and you know what a ton of CSS in this project alright everybody that is how you make a Ajax page load really simple Ajax page loader in JavaScript. Well, I suppose that's kind of the definition of Ajax, sort of. Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. Anyways, there you go. Pop state, push state, all that fun stuff. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hope you learned something from it. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Jacob, and have a good one.